hey my beauties i'm back so today we're gonna get into it just wanted to give a little bit of information i really really wanted to touch on manifestation and the importance of vibration and frequency and pretty much how if you're not vibrating or giving off a frequency of what you're trying to receive it's going to be very difficult for you to receive it so it is so important the candles are good um having the right color candle doing the right spell at the right time that's all fantastic but the most important thing is your mind you are the magician all the rest of that stuff is just tools so that's second hand we got to know ourselves, know thyself and we have to check ourselves sometimes to be able to receive because if we do not get ourselves in that right vibration and give off the right frequency badass kids outside <laughs> made me lose my whole train of thought man let's get into it they gon' think it's voodoo. I'm cutting chicken heads like candles. I fly to Cali, get it myself, throw it like round. So I ain't even gonna lie, this video might be a little bit on the long side because I don't want to forget everything. And the whole reason of me making this channel, I mean, the witchy thrift hauls are cute, they're good, but it is to remind you guys and show you guys how powerful you guys really are. And to motivate you guys to be the best magician um the best version of yourself on your spiritual path that you can possibly be and giving you the tools to do so so today we're definitely going to get into manifestation we're going to get into how it correlates with vibration and frequency i want to give you guys some examples and um some facts today I don't want anybody to miss out on their manifestation because they're not in alignment with what they're trying to receive. And when I say alignment, I am talking about vibration because everything vibrates. Everything gives off a frequency. Now, because we don't see this vibration, and it is a fact, scientifically proven, that everything vibrates and gives off a frequency. Because we don't see this vibration, we tend to forget that it exists and that it's happening. Now, we're all human. So, I'll be the first one to say, some days, I'm just not in the mood. And I just know that I am vibrating at a low frequency. And it can be a little bit difficult at times, being that we are human and we're human beings at the end of the day. There's this bill, your child just did this, you want to smack the hell out of their ass, your husband just left this out, didn't do this, didn't clean that, that, that. I understand. And the more that we get in that low vibration and allow ourselves to get even lower in a worse mood of anger or frustration or get irritated, fear, the more we sit in that vibration, the harder it is to pull yourself out of that. You ever notice that? It's just like a domino effect. <laughs> And you wonder why it's like a domino effect and everything is just like a train reaction and just starts to go down in a downward spiral. So with that being said, I just want to say you guys are stronger than that. I know my witchy beauties are stronger than that. So I know it's difficult to get yourself out of that vibration at times, but do things that will actually pull you up and lift your spirits up because you got to get in that vibration. I think that is one of the biggest tests here in the mundane, here in this reality, if you want to, reality. 
is mastering your emotions and yeah mastering your emotions and keeping yourself at a high vibration and be and trying to be or being positive no matter what You'd be surprised on how many blessings or manifestations that you missed out on because you weren't in that vibration to receive. Or you weren't in that frequency to receive. You weren't in alignment. So I think that is one of the hardest things to master, especially with all the distractions that are put here to keep you out of balance and out of alignment. So if you can master your emotions, you can be a master magician, a master manifester. And I always tell everyone, if you're doing candle magic, any type of ritual, any type of spell, if you're trying to, which, you know, 99% of us are when we're doing something like that, we're trying to manifest something that, you know, is positive or some type of abundance. But you can't perform, oh, I wouldn't recommend it, performing that uh, candle magic or that ritual for abundance or for money or um, that new car or that new man, whatever. If you're in a shitty vibration and giving off a frequency of shit, I wouldn't even recommend it. So that is one of the biggest challenges the biggest tests and I would say it is for me as well I'm human even, even though I master or I try to master my emotions try to know myself and what triggers me it is so important it, it you know it's beautiful for me to get on here and give you the colors of the candles when to do it when to do this when to do that the moon phases you know but you have to master yourself. You have to know thyself. And you have to get yourself in alignment and work on yourself. I have to work on myself. We all have to work on ourselves to be that master magician and bring in that abundance. Now, if you want to bring in bullshit, go ahead. Don't work on getting in alignment or don't be in alignment. Don't stay in alignment. Be my guest. But when we're talking about manifesting... We got we to gotta talk about vibration and frequency. They go hand in hand. Go hand in hand. So yeah, my witchy beauties, that's what we're going to do. You know, I hope everybody works on themselves, continue to work on themselves and grow. You know, if you are in, you're feeling like you're in the pits, you know, do stuff to make you feel, yourself feel better. I know me. If I'm feeling like I'm in a down mood or I'm just in a low vibration, I will watch up. I watch some stand up comedy. I love me a good stand up. I'll laugh my ass off until my stomach hurt. You know, um, go exercise. Um, be conscious about what you're putting in your body. You know, I'm not perfect. I I get tired and I'll, I'll crack a Red Bull so quick. I know it's not good. <laughs> But again, human, you know, but do your best to do these things. Pull yourself out of that rut. It is so easy to sit in that low vibration. But it, it is so much harder to pull yourself up. And so I know you guys are strong. I know you guys are not going to sit in that low vibration and you guys are that warrior magician you know we do the damn thing over here so y'all gonna pull yourself out of it and y'all gonna manifest everything that y'all want by mastering yourself and knowing thyself so again you know to pull yourself out of stuff like that because i know a lot of us are in the house a lot we're just not getting back out there you know so a lot of people work from home. 
Uh, they're in the house all the time. Get outside, get some sun, get with nature, put your feet in the grass if you can. Watch some stand-up comedy, listen to some music, dance, like twerk. I don't get whatever, whatever you, whatever gets you in that high vibration to give off that frequency to attract what you want. Yeah, that's one of the biggest challenges here. I'm telling you. And then society. just has so much that wants to keep you just puts off so much in the media and and everything else that wants to keep you in a low vibration so that you cannot manifest all the abundance that you deserve so yep let's work on ourselves let's strive to stay in that vibration of love joy you know so anyways I'll give you an example and it's best said like this I heard somebody give the perfect example it's like tuning into different radio radio waves depending on what frequency you emit will determine on what station you pick up it'll determine what experiences you pick up. So talking about the law of attraction, manifesting, uh, again, candle magic, all this fluffy shit, it's, it's nice, it's cute. But we gotta get to the root of it. You have to work on yourself. We have to check ourselves when we're not in the right vibration and emitting off that right frequency. And I know it's so, it is, it's, it's it's difficult in times like this, but we got to be unfazed and unbothered and get those manifestations rolling in. So I also wanted to give an example. I got some notes here because all this I, <laughs> I ain't gonna be able to remember off the top of my head. And it's about uh two o'clock, two that's usually my body tells me it's it's nap time about that time. I'm old, y'all. But um I wanted to give you guys an example and I wanted to talk about 432 hertz which I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of so 432 hertz hertz pretty much just refers to the number of vibrations or cycle per sound 432 hertz has profound effects on expanding the human consciousness 432 hertz has a superior tuning to its positive effects so if you are feeling you know, in the pits or down and out, I would definitely go to YouTube, throw on, um, you know, the little, they'll have like a, something on the playlist, 432 hertz. It'll play a ride out for you for like a whole hour or two, <laughs> just in 432 hertz. Fall asleep to 432 hertz. 432 hertz, again, a, a superior tuning due to its positive effects. 432 hertz, it's a natural frequency. I stated to be a pure tone of math fundamental to nature. 432 hertz is mathematically consistent with the patterns of the universe. Again, everything has a range of frequency, including our organs and our cells. Scientific research has discovered that our cells resonate and respond to different frequencies. When we produce positive feelings, we are in balance, in alignment, in alignment to receive. Uh, 
So when you are feeling on top of the world and you're feeling imbalanced, that is the time to manifest and to do your magic. And sometimes we have to do things to get us there. Again, because the majority of stuff in this world is meant to put you in a low vibration. So music based on 432 hertz creates balance in our body, imbalances emotional, our emotional and mental state. 432 hertz has beneficial healing energy because it's a pure tone of math and it's fundamental to nature. Now, me speaking on a lot of things put in this world this dimension to put you in a low vibration. Um, for example, most music today is a tuning of 440 hertz. Now, 440 hertz causes an increase in anxiety, causes anxiety and emotional distress. And this is mathematically and scientifically proven when it comes to 432 hertz and 440 hertz so we're definitely gonna get to that because I just I just thought of that so at 400 at um, 432 hertz the structure of our atoms and DNA start to resonate in harmony at 432 hertz Again, the structure of our atoms and our DNA start to resonate in harmony. Now, there was a study by a man called by, uh, by a man named John Stuart Reed. He studies acoustics, acoustic vibration. And in quote, he stated this about 432 hertz. 432 hertz pops out as, an, as a triangle every time we image it. So a triangle every time we image it. So every time they image 432 hertz, that frequency, that vibration, it came off as an image of a triangle. Now this is quoted by John... Stuart Reed. He studies acoustics. He studies acoustic vibrations. And so you can look more into that if you choose. I'm just going to give you the basics on, on 432 hertz and the importance of vibration because we are always vibrating. So in quotes states 432 hertz pops out as a triangle every time they image it. In quote, he states, we conclude that the number three is somehow universally connected to 432 hertz. In quote, we captured it on video also, and it looks like it's alive. So what really popped out to me was that every time they image 432 hertz it pops out as a triangle which now this just came to my right now i'm going to have to make a, a video on mudras because if you think of the mudra that is like such that's a shape of what a triangle right This is a mudra, a triangle, a mudra for manifestation. So all this goes hand in hand. So I also I also uh, suggest that you look up mudras and how to incorporate that with your manifestation or your spell work, your rituals, your magic. And they said every time they imaged 
432 hertz it came up as a triangle so I want you to use your imagination about how you're going to incorporate that 432 hertz that frequency with your mudra in your magic and your spell work because I already the brain the world's already turned into my head <laughs> but yes I definitely I just wanted to come on here and stress how important it is to be in alignment when you are doing your spell work or you're trying to manifest or willing your abundance that new car that new house whatever you deserve let's get in alignment let's master these emotions you know let's emit love joy as much as we can in this crazy ass world to bring those that abundance into fruition for ourselves so if you guys have any questions or comments please put it in the comment section i would appreciate if you enjoyed any of this information to please like and subscribe of course it helps build my channel and go watch my witchy haul video i just did one earlier today uh, it was like six items but you know you know i got some cute stuff on there so go ahead and check that out um again sub subscribe if you feel like you want to and i thank you so much for watching to the end again any questions please leave it in the comment section and if you want to drop any gems or knowledge for me on 432 hertz or anything about the mudra please share because i'm always open to learning as well i thank you for tuning in my witchy beauties Mwah. see y'all next time they gon' think it's voodoo i'm cutting chicken heads like candles i fly to cali get it myself the oil like round